the story of human evolution the story of human evolution is enormously long and somewhat complicated there is so much that has happened and so much that has been written so in studying or writing history the historian is always involved in a process of selection therefore in reading history we need to see what events historians chooses to focus on and the broader framework through which he makes sense of particular things and events the story of human evolution to aaj ka hamara topic rahega the story of human evolution ya fir aap kaise the manav ka vikas तो हम ऑलरेडी जानते हैं कि इट वाज़ 5.6 मिलियन इयर्स एगो दैट द फर्स्ट ह्यूमन लाइक क्रिएचर्स अपीयर्ड ऑन अर्थ सरफेस तो आफ्टर दिस सेवरल फॉर्म्स ऑफ ह्यूमंस एमर्ज एंड देन बिकेम एक्सटिंक्ट तो ह्यूमन बीइंग्स रिजेम्बलिंग अस ट्रांसपोर्ट रेफर टू इज मॉडर्न ह्यूमंस कब ओरिजिनेट हुए वे ओरिजिनेट हुए about 1 lakh 60000 years ago so during this long span of time people learned to obtain food by scavenging uh, and hunting animals and gathering plant produces they also learned to uh, communicate with each other and to make stone tools now we will see the sources to understand early human history so the discoveries of human fossils stone tools and cave paintings help us to understand early human history so what are fossils fossils are the remains or impression of a very old human or any other living things which have turned into stone these are often embedded in rocks and are thus preserved for millions of years another important source is stone tools which uh, were made and used by early humans and are available in various parts of world especially in africa and europe and paintings are the another important sources to understand the early human history paintings found on the walls of the caves in europe and africa are helping us to understand early human history most scholars were reluctant to accept that these finds were the remains of early humans because according to old testament of the bible the origin of humans was regarded as the act of creation by god discovery of neanderthal man's skull in august 1856 workmen who were quarrying for limestone in neander valley a gorge near german city of dusseldorf found some skeletal they handed it over to kal farlot a local schoolmaster and natural historian later he plaster cast it and sent it to Hermann Schaffhausen who was a professor of anatomy at Bonn University he claimed that skull represented form of human that was extinct and the skull was named after the valley where it was found neanderthal land man's skull In 24 November 1859 Charles Darwin on his book The Origin of Species argued that humans had evolved from animals a long time ago Between 36 million years and 24 million years a category of mammals called primates emerged in Asia and Africa Primates are a subgroup of a larger group of mammals they include monkeys apes and humans and their features are they have body hair a relatively long gestation period following birth mammary glands different types of teeth and the ability to maintain a constant body temperature and then between 24 million years 
and 5.6 million years there emerged a subgroup among primates called hominoids. Hominoids are different from monkeys in a number of ways. They have larger body and do not have a tail. Besides, there is a longer period of infant development and dependency among hominoids. Between 5.6 million years ago and 1.8 million years ago, hominids have evolved from hominoids. Hominids belong to a family known as hominidae. While hominids have evolved from hominoids and share certain common features, there are major differences as well. Hominoids have a smaller brain while hominids have a little bigger brain. Hominoids are quadrupeds, meaning walking on all four legs, while hominids have an upright posture and bipedal locomotion, meaning walking on two feet. Hominoids have flexible forelimbs and marked differences in the hand, while hominids have flexibility in hand, leg, and fingers, which help them to make tools and weapons. Hominids are further subdivided into two branches, known as Australopithecus and Homo. There are evidences that suggest that hominids have an African origin. Uh, firstly, it is the group of African apes that are most closely related to hominids. Secondly, the earliest hominid fossil which belong to the genus Australopithecus have been found in East Africa and date back to about 5.6 million years ago.